This is about a first flick shot taken at a penalty corner. The ball is raised towards the outrunner and hits the outrunner on his hand somewhere above knee height and there is a video referral from the umpire wanting to know about the height of the ball. The match commentators then tr tr turned themselves in knots trying to remember what the rule says about a flick shot at the goal. 13-3-L deals with the first hit shot at the goal which we're not concerned with at this moment. For second and subsequent hits at the goal and for flicks, deflections and scoops, that is all flicks, deflections and scoops, it is permitted to raise the ball to any height but this must not be dangerous. And then we have a bit about the defender clearly running into the shot without attempting to play the ball which we can disregard here. Otherwise, if a defender is within five metres of the first shot at goal during the taking of a penalty corner and is struck by the ball below the knee, another penalty corner must be awarded. This is uh, contrary to what is given in open play, where any raising of the ball towards an opponent within five metres would be penalised as dangerous. And finally we come to what Rule 13.3M is actually about or is struck on or above the knee, that might better be written as struck at or above knee height. In a normal stance, the shot is judged to be dangerous and a free hit must be awarded to the defending team. That says nothing at all about the ball hitting the hand of the outrunner. It just says that if the ball is, the outrunner is struck with the ball, at or above knee height, it is dangerous play. It is very difficult to see whether the ball is or above knee height or just below knee height. And the video umpire took an awful long time considering this matter. And Dorrit lifts it into the far post. And a penalty corner. And Herzberg. Hersberger just being spoken to for all that tackle. It's a clever ball in. Little loop down that channel to make it difficult to be played. And indeed, by creating that uncertainty, played down into the turf and bounced back out again. There's off binds his stick into uh, Van Oval. <clears throat> the open play rule 9 9 came into focus there as the ball was lifted, even accidentally, into an opponent within five metres. Where's your money? At the moment, I've got to put it on Hendricks, I really have. He's got that element of doubt in Viss's brain. It is Hendricks. Good number one running from Peters. Hendricks on the reverse stick, shot covering, good save. What a follow up that is! It is Plenovo who has put that in. They're calling this for the height on the first run. It seemed to hit Peters hands on his stick. I'm not sure what the referral is. Can you check the height of the ball on the first shot? The first slip? I will check, uh, check the first shot and goal. Given so, that the keeper makes the save down low to his left... No, I think they're talking about this first shot. Oh, so that, that one there, there. Okay. So that's hit Peters on the hand. If his hand is above his knee... Because we talk about danger of it hitting a player's body. If it hits them above the knee within five metres, it's considered to be dangerous. If it hits his stick but it's still his hand on the stick but still above his knee is that a foul no because the first shot's on goal and it can be anywhere so there is no danger because it's hit his hand the hand is part of the stick hand's part of the stick so it's not dangerous because it, it can't be because it's not hit his body the first shot there if they're asking about that no they're not that's that not, to that's... me is going on goal i mean unless they're saying this is back stick 
I mean, now going through all the different permutations. That's oh, that's backstick. That, that is backstick. If you've seen that, that's not part of the height, but I think that's backstick and it should be overruled. You see the water from the turf because the stick heads hit the turf before the ball and bounced up. There's nothing wrong with the actual finish. That's great. So the umpires can review the entire passage of play. Whilst there's a specific question about height, to me there is an obvious back stick within it. He has other footage. That's what I asked. I, it's what I asked. He has other footage than what you are seeing. You see other footage. But a ball can be dangerous if it sidles past your, say, your thigh, and it's only half a yard away. Yeah, I think I think the, the danger one is, to me, whilst that's what they've asked about height, I, to me, this is the backstick issue. It's in the passage of play. The shot itself, whilst may not be high, it's still a backstick. I don't think I'm my one, one for none so far, having yeah. called the first yeah. video yeah. referral. You've already lost, you've already yeah, lost, lost your mine. referral. <laughs> Yes, Fantac, just making sure here, checking every bit of footage that he can call upon. So he can see all the angles that are available and he can call them on sort of frame rate, frame by frame. Lorraine, there's no clear reason to change your decision. The Netherlands lose their referral. He may award a goal. Well, <laughs> okay, I'm nil for two, two, but. I can't comment on the back sticks issue because I can't tell from the video at which part of the stick he was used to hit the ball.